Welcome to the Book Sales Page Show with Angela J. Ford and Bradley Charbonneau. Today we are doing a follow-up on the Book Sales Page for the Happiest Kids in the World. So in last week's show, we went through what the author had. She put together a basic uh, page for her site, for her a basic page for her book, and also uh, two publishers had some pages. So what we've done is we have put together a book sales page based on the information we gathered and put together uh, a sales page for her new book based using our tools and our strategies. And here we go, and this is it. So we're gonna analyze this, we're gonna go through this one and talk about the pros and cons, as this is also not meant to be like the greatest ever finished product. It's a work in progress, but we just wanted to show you what we could do to improve a book sales page that we saw from the publishers. All right, here we go. What are your first thoughts, yeah. Angela? Well, first off, I love the full width design. I like that it takes up the entire screen and I'm not focused on anything that's in the sidebar. So I absolutely love that. I like the colors, it's fun, it's friendly. That pop of pink works very, very well. <laughs> Makes me happy, um, which I, I guess is the point of the book, so that's perfect. Uh, yeah, I like the, the visuals that are in there as well. It looks, you know, it's very attractive. Great, great, yeah, I think, and also because it's Happiest Kids, and of course there's a picture of a happy kid, um, and there's a big old title, Are Your Kids Happy? And so, it's really shooting for uh, the, the target market here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm actually wondering if it would look what it would look like to make the button yeah. that's per that's in blue right now, the pre-order today, making that in that same pink color to really just kind of make the page more cohesive and really pop it out. Um, I think that might stand out a little bit more than the the blue. Actually, that would look great. Yeah, I think I'm, I was I was trying to keep with the theme here of the blues and the reds and the whites and the blacks from the book cover, and that would be something we could do uh, together with the author to work on on colors um, that go together with the theme of the book, and also what works best uh, for like call to actions and um, making it uh, the clearest button, the clearest thing we want them to do on the page. Yes, exactly. Yeah, looks great, and I like that there. So there's the teaser text, the pre-order, and then that testimonial right below it, and that all can be seen without scrolling down, which is fantastic. Yeah, you know, um, on that note, so on element number two down here with the the uh, quote from this Pamela Drucker man here, uh, sort of the standard thing to do in that very second area would be the buy now buttons. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm curious to hear about what what you think, but I was thinking if I, I'm learning about this book and I kind of want to know a little more about it before I'm immediately going to buy it. And so I thought, let's get a little more content in there about what this book is about before we get immediately to the buy now buttons. And I could probably could be convinced either way to you know, have buy now buttons higher up. But anyway, that was my thought. Um, and I guess the pre-order today, that goes right to Amazon. But what do you think about having this, this red area with a quote? Because if I do scroll down, oh, it's not even, we don't even get to buy now next. What do you think about having those buy now buttons not immediately high up? You know, that's a good question. And I could go back and forth on that because like you said, when it's in the, the pre-order phase, what what is our goal with the overall page? Are we making sure people have enough information so that they pre-order when they get to the end of the page. Um, that's, that's kind of a, a great thought, what are, our, what are our goals here? You know, you bring up an, a, like the most important question is, you know, what is our goal with this page? And I think right now, I would want to talk with the authors more because I don't even know. I mean, uh, and that would be a thing that working together with authors, uh, we would find out, hey, what is the most important thing right now? Do you want them to pre-order? Do you want them to download a sample? Do you want them to sign up with a mailing list? Whatever, but that would be front and center and that would then help us decide what to do here. Because again, as I've kind of said, we're kind of just um, putting this together as a, as a draft for the authors 
as mm -hmm. a, uh, something we can work with. And that's the beauty of this, of course, is that, hey, we can, we can change, we can drag and drop, we can move around, and depending on what's important for the book, and also what's important for the book at what time. You know, once this is, it is live and ready to be purchased, maybe we change it up. That's very true. It might be more important once the book is out and people are hearing about it to have those buttons uh, towards the top of the page. Yeah. Okay. Um, one final note is that this photo of the kid, I just, it's just a stock photo of some kid being happy. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet I know the author has some good photography. So that is a place for improvement where I know she could get some awesome photos of of really you know appropriate and stunning imagery that would really be even more relevant that would work even better here yeah and what we could even do is apply some uh, some filters to the photo as well so that the words really pop out and they're easy to read um, on on the mobile phone as well yeah because right now this is a little hard to read this second part yeah yeah, yeah and we have those filters in place that we can add just depending on the photography yeah okay all right let's Good. see what's next all right so then we have that um the uh blurb or testimonial and then i'm going to come down here and here i i really wanted to get a video background just because i think it's <laughs> so visually just exciting um and i was really trying to get some the meat the content of this book you know what is this thing about what are like the bullet points where i should buy it and again, I'm just going off what I could find. And working together with an author, we would be able to dig deeper. But I, I found some, you know, stock freebie video in the background that was, you know, cutesy and fun, but it looks awesome. And then I'm also playing around here with uh, bullet points and just showing off some of Divi's under the hood powers of making what could be just like a boring bullet list into this really nice looking. Um, element here <laughs> i think the video is absolutely perfect i love it it brings that life into the page that the landing page needs and then the elements i mean it it's great i mean dutch teenagers don't rebel what all teenagers rebel that's got to right. be possible you know it's just all these bullet points it's it's great and then being able to scroll down and seeing okay i can pre-order my copy there's that that countdown so that gives me the the sense of urgency uh, and even seeing the the logos, that authority, you know, this is where I can get the the book from, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, I know that with this book, what's very unique about it is that the UK release date is different from the the US release date. So that's also something that's you know it could be a little tricky, but I, I think we've we've got it. Looks great. Yeah. I agree. That could be a little odd because if I want to go order this and I, I'm in the States and it turns out, oh, wait a minute, it's not even available yet. So I don't know exactly what to do there other than, you know, just make it clear that here's the UK. I mean, I guess if the UK Kindle is available, I can go buy that even if I'm in the States. So, you know, that's also, true. And we could, oh, right. go ahead. <laughs> I, I, we could even separate this out where it's, uh, you know, if you're in the UK, you can get your book here. If you're in the US, you can pre-order your copy here. Right, right. Um, we don't need to talk about it too much, but just, it's interesting. This is ready, it's available in 54 days, and that's like two months. That seems like an eternity, but um, because also with the, hey, I want it now, I mean, two months, I'm not even gonna remember this thing in two months. So that's why also, I don't have it right here clearly, but. I would want something like a call to action, like, hey, remind me when this thing finally comes out, please, because I can't remember what's going to happen in two months. Yeah, and that's one of the things, like right here, it would be great to have uh, an email opt-in with either yeah. a, a free chapter or some pre-order bonuses or something, uh, yeah. but that's something that we'll have to coordinate with the, the authors. Yeah. So that's why it's not right here. Um. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down because I know we're running out of time. We wanted to try to keep this under 10 minutes and we're getting there. Uh, here, again, I'm looking for, I'm partly playing around with elements of Divi, and I, this was just a cool photo, and I have sort of this big headline. And, and I'm just trying to draw some attention and, and, and you know, put up some flags, like, hey, do you want your 
child to be successful or happy and it's really make people think so that's all i did there and i like that the pink pants kind of match the pink call to action or the pink background so there you go <laughs> And then another, we have testimonial. another testimonial. Great. Then we have meet the authors. Got a nice picture of them. And again, like you said, maybe we can do something with the backgrounds there. But a uh, quickie bio, or not even really a bio, but just a quickie bit about them. Um, maybe we could have, in a more detailed version, have links to deeper bios for both of them. Yeah, deeper bios, social media links. Um, they're, they have yeah. a great blog that they already have a lot of huge following on, so that's fantastic. You're right. You're right. See, even just talking about this briefly, you and I, we already get so many more ideas. So this is, uh, it's, it's a great start, but there's, even here, there's lots of room to improve, and as, as always. But you're oh, right, yeah. social media links for both of them, uh, more detailed bios. And then I think that's it. And you're right, it really is missing a call to action. Like a, a clear, okay, there's the buy or pre-order, but a get on our mailing list part that was, was partly a technical thing that I don't have their email. But, you know, I don't know what email program they're using to collect their mail addresses, so I didn't do it, even though I could have done a fake one. But yes, I think that's a glaring omission here that they need that call to action and, um, and maybe even twice, and where do we place it? Yeah, yeah. And I like that it does end with like, you know, something you can learn more. Uh, I do like the, the call to action at the very, very end. But yeah, having different ones sprinkled throughout the landing page will certainly uh, just bring it all together and improve it. Yeah. So um, I know uh, we're uh, above our time limit. We want it to be about 10 minutes. But you know what? I just had a thought. I think that maybe this could be even part two of a three-part series because we first looked at what the author had put together, just sort of mumbo jumbo put together. Then we have our first draft of what could work for them. And maybe we even spend another 10 minutes in a future episode looking at, hey, this is what we're really going with. We've worked with the author more, more detail and we have it really uh, more polished. And that could even be another episode about how we then improve on what we have now. I think so. And if you're listening in and you want your book landing page to be reviewed and you want some tips on how to improve it, feel free to email us hello at booksalespage.com. Great, Angela. Thanks a lot. And I'm looking forward. Now I'm even looking forward to episode three of this one where we go into this in more depth and uh, see how we can make it even better. <laughs>